we haven't gone back visually uh, to folks who had something to do with the, the assassination or that weekend for a while, if not ever. Uh, and, you know, being 52 years later, why don't we look into who might be interested in having the portrait made again that, uh, that had their lives influenced by the assassination? Why not revisit uh, part of living history? I don't know if that's ever, you know, really been done in a, in a collective process before. A lot of these portraits are very, very subtle in emotion. It's an opportunity to see a personality of someone. It's not fair for a portrait to be tied directly to a moment in history, because everyone lives their individual lives, and I didn't want these portraits to just say something about the assassination. It had to speak to each of, each of their personalities. That was very important to me this entire time maybe 10 years from now or 20 years from now, we're not gonna have that opportunity to hear their voices again and, and absorb their stories. That time's gonna pass uh, eventually. A portrait is an opportunity to isolate someone in within their lifetime. It's, it's a great fallback on being able to remember somebody. It's a great fallback on to remember a moment even.